Baby Gemini back with another video, y'all. Today, this video is just gonna be about a life updated QA, just about where I've been, what I've been doing, where life has been taking me, all that good stuff, y'all. This video is long overdue because I know I've been missing in action for about a month and a half or maybe two months or so. So I'm finna just answer some questions for y'all. So before I get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, turn on your post bell notifications so you guys won't miss out another video. And let's get into it. Y'all, before I ask y'all some questions, like I've been thinking, um, I wanna give my subscribers a name. So I was thinking Jim Babe. So you know when I come on uh, the video in the beginning, I always say, what's up YouTube, it's your favorite Gemini. So I want to say, what's up Jim Babes, it's your favorite Gemini back with another video. So comment down below what y'all think about that name. Let me know if y'all fuck with it because I feel like I fuck with it. I like it. So let me know what y'all think. If y'all have any other suggestions, comment down below what y'all think I should say. So yeah. All right, y'all. So the first question is gonna be, where have you been? So y'all, like I said, I really just been working more so. Um, it's not really my civilian job. It's really my army job. Like I've really just been, well, okay. So in July, I had to go to drill for a weekend. And then for that week, I had to go to Salt Lake City, Utah, and I had to do an inventory there. And just being there was, um, it was fun. I mean, it was tiring because the time zones are different. Um, but when I got back, I was so tired. I got tired of flying all over the place and, you know, getting getting used to back Texas heat and the Texas humidity because in Utah, like the air's thin and I wasn't, you know, uh, I was really breathing in like different air. So I was like really, really tired most of the time. So when I got back, I was really, really tired. Y'all didn't even unpack my bag as soon as I got home. Like I was so tired. I didn't wait until like, two weeks to unpack my army bag when I got back. So y'all was really, really tired and just coming back home, trying to get my civilian life back together, my home, my dogs. Um, so yeah, like, and then I didn't even get a break from my civilian job. So when I got back on a Sunday, I just had to keep working, keep working, keep working, and keep working until that next weekend. Then that next weekend, I wanted to sleep. I wanted to sleep. I didn't want to be bothered. I ain't do nothing. I ain't go nowhere. I ain't spend no money. I didn't do nothing. So y'all really just been working so it's really just the army doing this and doing that and sending me all over the place and just working so yeah. what are your plans for the rest of 2022 so my plan for the rest of 2022 is to work overseas as my civilian job so i'll still be in the army as well y'all but i kind of want to work overseas in germany or kuwait so i want to go work overseas because y'all it's more money and I'm just going to be basically doing the same thing that I'm doing now here. It's just going to be more money and I want to travel. I want to see new sceneries. I want to do different stuff. So I want to meet new people. Like, you know, it's just me. I don't have kids. All I have is two dogs. Like, and it's easy to find them a home or someone um, that can just stay with them or something like that. But yeah, I want to work overseas and, you know, do the same thing because I'm into logistics. So I'm like a... I'm like a um, a computer geek, I guess. No, I don't want to say computer geek because I think that's two different things. Like, I'm like a um, I don't know. I just know a lot about like the army SAP system and all that good stuff. So I'm just good with that stuff. So I want to do that overseas. Hey y'all, let me tell y'all because. I had went and got my passport. My passport was so much fucking money. I mean, people was telling me like, yeah, you know, your passport gonna be a lot of money. This it's gonna be a lot of money that, but I'm thinking, okay, it's probably gonna be just a hundred dollars or something like, you know what I'm saying? Just a hundred dollars. And you know, maybe a little extra money to expedite for it to come faster. Y'all paid $280 for that damn passport. $280. That was a lot of money. And I didn't know that it was two different type of passports. It's a card and then it's a book. So the card, you can't do international travel. So you can't go overseas with this little card. With the book, you can do anything you fucking want to do. Now with the card, I, I forgot what they said you can do with the card, but you can't do international air travels when you do that. So I said, well, fuck, damn. I was going to get the card. The card was like $89. 
I was like, okay, well, I was going to get the car. I don't need no damn book. I'll go get a book off of Amazon or something. Or I'll go to the store and go get a book. That ain't nothing. You know, to put my stuff in, that ain't nothing. And then write passport on the book, that ain't nothing. I can go do that. Shit. So, the lady was telling me, she was like, okay, well, I just want to let you know before you buy anything, um, you, you can't do this with this card. You know, I'm just saying. So, if you want to change it now, you can just get the book. And I'm glad the lady did tell me. just got a job offer. And... The recruiter that I was working with was saying, um, yeah, you know, book your appointment to get your passport and then let me know tomorrow what happens or what's up, like what's good, whatever, whatever. So I hit her up the next day and I had told her, hey, like, was I supposed to send something to you? Um, they didn't give me anything and which I wasn't expecting for them, for the post office to give me a passport. I wasn't expecting that. So I told her, I told the lady, the lady told my son, Oh, they didn't give you a passport? No. No. You and I both know that they was not going to give me no damn passport. No. No. They wasn't going to give me no damn passport. Why the fuck would the post office give me a passport? You knew that, bitch. You knew you weren't going to give me the job. You knew that. Like, but it, it, either way, that was still kind of my fault because I should not have been applying for them damn jobs without no passport, lying, saying that I did have a passport. But I just didn't think that the job was going to come so fast. But now that I know, I got my passport. I'm just waiting on it. So it should be here maybe like the end of September, beginning of October. And when it come in, that's when I'm just going to pick back up and um, apply to all these jobs again, y'all. So I have not given up. So I'm trying to get out of here by the end of this year like i'm trying to leave by the end of this year and start my journey in germany or kuwait so yeah all right so the next question is do you want to collab with anybody yes i want to collab with neek y'all know that's my favorite youtuber she's in houston y'all know that's my favorite youtuber so boom yeah neek i i have recently been getting into BJ TV, which is Brian and Jameson. They on YouTube as well, y'all. They so fucking funny. So them two and Kiana J. I would love to collab with Kiana J. Because I feel like, well, just Neek and Kiana J together. Like, I like when they do videos together. They so, like, motivational. And, like, they they both, to me, inspire. And they got their own, like, inspiring ways, you know, just, like, just for them by themselves. Like, I don't know. I just want to collaborate with them, too, because it's just, like, we on the same, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I want to collab with them two. If I can together with them two as well in the future. Okay, so another question is, why did you start YouTube? So I started YouTube because I'm into like the beauty, the vlogging about my life. Even though my life is boring, like I don't do anything for real. Like um, I'm into like the getting dressed and taking pictures. I'm into like the brand ambassador, influencer this, influencer that. I'm into all that type of stuff, even though like I'm new and I'm like real, real itty bitty small. Like I'm into that. Like I like talking about it. I like learning new things about that and posting about it. I just like that. I like putting outfits together in my head and seeing if it looks good or not. Like I'm into all of that. I'm into like the fashion and all that good type of stuff. I like reviewing stuff. I like watching people um try different things to review it because that's how i be trying shit if people done reviewed it and then they was like okay well it's good so i go try it too i like to try different stuff too so that's why i became a youtuber because and really in natural y'all i'm funny i'm really funny for real for real i'm funny in the real world i am you can ask anybody i'm funny so another question is how is your lash business going y'all my lash business is going great I still have sales here. So I have restocked. I just have not said anything or promoted anything. I know I should have, but I only just restocked what people have been asking for. And that's like four out of the five that I've came out with. So everything has been good. I just got like a smaller amount being that I'm only doing like local only. The only people that I'm only shipping out to is family wise. Hell, I haven't even got to do that. So um, but I'm going home soon, so they'll get their stuff soon. But only right now, I'm only doing in clean area, Texas area. I'm just doing local exchanges, and that's it. But everything is going fine. It's good. Another question is, how has the Army been treating you? So the Army is fine. Like, a lot of people say, like, oh, I don't like the Army this. I don't like the Army that. Like, 
I don't get that vibe. I don't get that experience. And maybe it's just because I'm not, I'm not full time. Um, I'm only part time, so I'm reserved. So I don't get the full experience where people be like, oh, well, my NCO this, my, my first sergeant this, my sergeant major this, or my command sergeant major this. Like, I don't get that. I always get like, I get chill vibes from my unit. I don't, I don't wish to move to any unit anytime soon because my unit is literally a good unit. I met a lot of good people. My first sergeant is so cool. He, um... He does any and everything, like, he'll break his back for any and everybody, well, not any and everybody now, like, just don't, you know, but just don't, don't screw him wrong, but, like, my unit is good, like, I don't, I don't have no problems with being in the army, um, people keep asking me, oh, well, do you see yourself doing 20 years? I guess, like, I can, I don't mind it, like, I guess, like, if I come up, like, if something comes up, like, you know, then maybe I, 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 I try, I'll, I want to do more than 10. I would say that. I'm not, I'm, I don't know about 20. I, I just don't know how long I really want to stay in for it. But the army life is treating me good. I, I fucks with it. I, I I don't have no problem with it. It's nothing red flag about the army right now to me. And I've only been in for two years. So, yeah. Okay, so another question is, what is your short and long-term goal? Y'all, my short-term goal is to be um more known to people um yeah i would say just being more known like on social media because i put myself out there daily like you know doing the different trends and stuff like that um so yeah i would just say like just being more known on instagram and youtube because those are my two main um accounts that i use the most to really promote myself like you'll see me on tiktok i'll probably do like one tiktok a week or something like that because i don't have that many followers or whatever on there um but yeah yeah because i yeah, I only use instagram and youtube really mostly I, i'll be on tiktok looking at other people videos and then i'll probably Okay, well, let me just do this trend just to put myself out there on TikTok or whatever. So, I'll do that. Um, my long-term goal is to um, pay off my debt, um, pay off my car, and buy my mama a truck, a new truck. I'm trying to get her something blacked out, something within that year, like it just came out type of thing. That's why I want to go overseas, y'all, because overseas money is 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 like it gets you paid for real like you you can stack money in everything you can save you can do this you can do that um you still have to pay taxes or whatever but it's not gonna you know your taxes is not gonna come out in your check so that's why you get so much money when you're overseas but you still have to remember to pay that so but yeah i'm trying to you know go overseas stack my money save some money pay off my little debt that i got pay off my car and then i want to buy my mama a truck i mark my words i will buy my mama a truck pretty soon all right y'all so my last question would be are you dating anyone currently so no i'm not dating anyone right now um i would say yes i am dating um but my thing is y'all like i'm not a dating type of person i'm really not like when i talk to people i get bored i do really get bored easily like if you're not if we're not texting every day, if I'm not feeling you off rip, then it's just like, it's really no point in me talking to you because I feel like I'm wasting your time and you damn sure wasting my time because we ain't even texting. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not a, a day type person. I'm a relationship type person because I'm very nurturing. I'm very caring. I have a big ass heart. So I'm, I'm, I'm one of those. Like, and like I said, if I'm feeling you, like you're going to see that I'm feeling you. Like you're going, you're going to feel me. Like, you, you're going to do it. So, uh, yeah, so I would say, yeah, I am dating. And do I like dating? No, I don't. Like, I, honestly, I'd rather just be by myself, for real, for real. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, those are all the questions that I have for this video. Again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on your post notifications so you guys won't miss another video. And comment down below if y'all like Jim Babes. I fucks with it, so let me know if y'all fuck with it too. Peace.